I tend to do a lot of thinking, so I have been thinking a lot about what I plan to do for Battle of Azeroth. Um, I know there is still over a month to go, but that feels like a relatively close time for me, and since I don't have other games that I'm focusing on at the moment, that's something that I'm looking forward to, but it also sucks because the week following the release, I'm going to be at TI, so I won't be able to play. I feel like I'm going to fall behind. Uh, I have actually been thinking that I will consider Mating Disc Priest next expansion. And the main reason for that is because I, I really do enjoy healing. Um, my priest was a healer strictly many years, seven years or something. I healed this disc on her for Arena, I was holy in raids, the only time I went shadow before this expansion was briefly in Mists of Pandaria, I think. I raided with Shane on Horde very briefly, a couple months maybe, and I went Horde because they were Horde, otherwise I wouldn't go faction changing to Horde. I actually don't like Horde, I don't like the towns. Uh, of course, since I don't play Horde often, they're confusing to me, but just maybe the way they're designed, I don't like them. I like Alliance, I've been Alliance since I started, so I don't really want to change. Yeah, I do think I am more suited to heal, although that isn't to say that I had a lot of fun last expansion trying to be competitive on the damage meters. I do really love that aspect of playing WoW, so that will be an aspect that I miss. But the thing is, if I am going to be, I guess, trying to focus on Mythic Plus, that is pretty much the only thing I can see myself doing next expansion. So I will probably see how long I can do that for before I start to, I guess, hit a brick wall. I feel like if I was a Disc Priest, that would broaden my options a little bit because finding a good healer is actually pretty tough, I'd say. And I definitely encountered that a lot in Legion where I felt like even certain high, high rated healers were not actually that good. Uh, I, I think I may have briefly touched upon this in my Holy Priest video, but a big aspect that bugs me to no end from healers is their inability to dispel. And I'm saying dispelling within one global cooldown if a debuff is applied because that's not really a difficult thing to do. Um, prioritizing dispelling is very important because for stuff like in Eye of Shara when DPS are polymorphed, some healers would let them sit in almost the whole polymorph or half the polymorph and that's eight seconds of DPS lost. Why would you, why would you let that happen if it takes one global to remove it, right? So that was something that I really, really wished that as a Shadow Priest I could do for them. Like, I wish it was my job to help the spell for them, but I don't think it was that worthwhile to mass the spell for one debuff when they could just do it very easily. Although I did love having mass the spell, but that's still something I can have as Disc Priest. But anyways, yes, Dispelling, I feel like that that's something I can do very well because it is a skill and a priority you learn to pick up from PvP all those years back and I think that's very important. So that would be something that I would be excited to take over as a job from somebody else. Being a healer, you are more likely to get into groups because that is a role that less people play and there's always DPS, right? DPS are so abundant and plus Shadow Priest, I still, I'm still not confident that they will be a class that is dominant in Mythic Plus in terms of a class that people will highly covet because our playstyle is still very similar. The dungeons aren't out yet, we don't have any information, but I just get the feeling that a dot class like us won't really be at the top. and. You know how if people are very competitive and really want to push keys, they will only want to bring the best classes. They don't care about your individual player skill and like what specific traits that you have that could be beneficial to a run. They care only about class. This priest, I think, will be helpful in terms of 
having more options and more choices for doing Mythic Plus, but since there's no artifact weapons anymore, I would definitely consider playing Shadow Priest whenever I feel like it. Like, I'm not going to just toss it aside if I am randomly partied with a group that has a healer already and I can play Shadow, then I would. But I do think that maining disc might be a nice change for me. Um, I played a little bit of it on beta recently and of course these dungeons are normal so they mean nothing. I don't have to actually heal that much, I can just rely on the atonement healing for almost all of it. So that's kind of like not a good representation, but I was still trying to get a better feel for what Disc is like because I really haven't played it at all and um, I guess I definitely need to get used to some of the cooldowns because there's a lot of cooldowns I'm not using that I don't remember to use because it's not routine for me. I'm not used to the spec at all, but yeah, they have just changed Disc a lot since I last played it. And to be honest, I really liked BC Disc. I actually miss Weakened Soul. Is that weird to say? Weakened Soul is the debuff that gets applied when you buff somebody with power or shield so you can't keep buffing them with it, but right now there's no cooldown and you can keep applying it to someone. That feels really weird. I think they did that because they removed Plea, which was an instant cast to give somebody atonement, so maybe that's why they did that for Power Word Shield, where they probably nerfed the Absorb, I honestly haven't checked anything in regards to spell changes, but it would make sense that they would nerf the Absorb if it's instant and no cooldown. So that part will be really weird, freely applying that, but... Uh, I do think I miss healing. I definitely miss healing. I like playing that role where I'm assisting somebody. I know it's stereotypical and whatever, but you know what? I embrace it because that has always been the role I enjoy playing. In Dota, I like to support because it feels really good when carries appreciate your effort, right? So sometimes people are like, oh my god, thank you so much for saving me. Or, you know, if you're in the right place at the right time and you save them from a gank and stuff like that, it just feels really good because you know that even though you're not the person carrying the game in terms of, like, farm and items and damage and whatever, you are still very, very, very important because without your role, they would not be getting that farm. They wouldn't be getting those kills. They wouldn't be staying alive in team fights. So that's kind of like the similar role that I play in WoW where, like, I guess Disc is a nice hybrid for that because, I mean, these are normal dungeons, but I did notice that my damage was pretty decent. And it will be nice to know that during certain aspects of dungeons where the damage output isn't that crazy high, that I can provide meaningful damage and DPS to further speed up trash pulls and stuff like that. I am kind of excited about this change for sure because, you know, I didn't heal much last expansion. I mean, I did a bit on Holy, but Holy wasn't that great. And Restoration Druid is um, definitely fun in 5-man. I would never heal as Resto in raids. You know, Priest is the class that I will forever main. I will never change my main. That is always the... I only have three specs to choose from, right? Holy Disc or Shadow. And uh, Holy, I don't really think... I don't think Holy's in a good place. So if Disc is good, and competitive, then I think it will be a great choice for me. So it sucks because I know people know me as Shadow Priest, which honestly feels very weird because I've been playing this game for over a decade and I was very active in the game back then, but there was no streaming. I didn't really upload YouTube videos, so people don't know me as like Arena Michelle, PvP Michelle, this Priest Michelle, but they know me as Shadow Priest Mythic Plus Michelle. So. I say this now, there's still over a month until Battle for Azeroth, but I don't really see myself changing my mind because just being able to have more opportunities as a healer just because of, you know, player numbers and all of that and just demand for healer, I don't really see myself changing my mind to main shadow. If people ever still want to ask me stuff about anything priest related, I would still be very happy to answer the question because I just spend a lot of time thinking, 
So sometimes when there's like downtime at work or at home, if I'm just like looking stuff up, I like to think about what works best. Like for example, this past weekend, the Gladiator Sanctum was online on beta, which is a PvP only realm. And I didn't know about it until yesterday. So I made a druid, Resto Druid, and I played like a couple games. Even though Druid isn't my main, I still think that Resto Druid and PvP is actually my favorite compared to Priest because, you know, the mobility, they have so many options. They have good CC, they can kite very well, they can heal while moving with hots, they're just uh, awesome. I love them. So that's why I decided to make a druid on the arena realm, not my priest. I will probably try to stay up to date on all the news that are coming out about the game. Although, I don't really know if they can make that many drastic changes right now. We'll see. I just hope that priests stay at a pretty solid place. I think they should be. Disc seems like they might be a very good healer for dungeons. And Shadow doesn't seem like they'll be bottom of the barrel. I think Shadow might just be in the middle of the pack again. So all of this will be confirmed when the game is out. But yeah, those are my overly rambly thoughts about WoW. Tyran fleet is nearly yours, my queen. Master! The Kotiran fleet must not fall to- Fool. We must return to the sea, and Queen Ashara will grant us the power to do so. For the last time, join me or die. Never. Then I shall cast your bodies to the blackened depths to be crushed for eternity. Turned against the tide, Master. And now, you have been pulled underneath it. Something is not right. Darkness still festers here. Be wary, heroes. Some unseen evil still lurks in the dark. We must prove its influence from the shrine. Oh, 
Darkness rules. Pestilence spreads. The doorway is open. I'm out of range. By the Tide Mother. Do not listen to its whispers.